So today we did uh, nature weaving. You're in the nature, you're creating a connection, and then with that connection comes a creative activity that you can come out of it feeling that, yeah, you had a great time in nature, but you also created something you're proud of. And really all you need is some trees to attach your weaving to, some decent sized branches so that you can attach all your ropes that will eventually serve as the structure of your weaving. And then once it's set up on the tree, then you attach plants through it. And the whole idea is to go in the forest and collect interesting plants that will look good in the weaving, but also give you an opportunity to see different texture, different colors, and just mash them together and see what you get. We did a quick introduction on how you do a nature weaving, uh, which was, it's a pretty simple process, so that didn't take much time. People got it really fast. And so one of the things that we see at this time of year are lots of different berries and grasses. So we talked about the berries and what not to eat, which is basically all of them. Um, but to look at them, some are white, some are red, there's orange fuzzy ones, there's shiny purple ones. So the kids really got into the different colors of the berries that we were looking at as we walked along. So with the, what we had, um, with the people were doing individual ones that we had set up for them on small boards um, and they worked on them together with other family members and they had fun collecting things and putting them in the project and they got to take them home with them. So that was a really cool part for the um, participants to be able to finish it this afternoon and take it home. And then we have a, a group one that people were adding to throughout the afternoon and it's quite interesting and is still a work in progress where other people can come along uh, as they pass by and, and add more to it as well. So it's, it's really neat to see. Um, so one of the uh, interesting things about being here today as well was we're on the edge of the city. Um, and so there's moose that come through here, deer, coyote, and so they were, they were sharing some of the stories of what they have in their backyard. And this is their backyard where we were today. It's literally just an extension of, of where they have their homes along this uh, lovely area. And we walked down to the pond where we could see that there was lots of muskrat activity as well as a few different types of ducks. And that's where the moose like to hang out as well.